Hi, I'm Rachel, a Radical Soul Untangled. So, I'm going to do my first official deck unboxing. And this is uh, the Tarot del Toro. So I've removed the cellophane, but I haven't gotten, I haven't opened it yet. Um, I usually don't care for like overly gimmicky decks. But then again, you could also debate what a gimmick really is, you know. Um, <laughs> but, you know, ones that are kind of based on like a pop culture reference, I tend to like avoid. Um, I just don't feel drawn to them. There's nothing really wrong with them. I've seen even other tarot users, um, readers on on uh, YouTube use them. And so um, I don't have a problem with it. it. just doesn't really speak to me, to my aesthetic. Um but this one sort of does. I also usually don't like very dark occultish ones, but this one kind of blends the aspects of shadow that I do like with one of my favorite directors, Guillermo del Toro. And I, I haven't seen Lady in the Water, and I know that's featured in this. Um, but wait, The Shape of Water. Oh my God, <laughs> I was thinking the M. Night Shyamalan movie. I knew I said the wrong title there for a second. Um, I haven't seen that one, but I um, seem like I'm interested. I hope Devil's Backbone and um, Kronos are in this, as well as, of course, like Pan's Labyrinth, I'm sure, is like huge in this. Um, yeah, because like the Lovers is from The Shape of Water. And yeah, it's going to have the Devil's Backbone because there's the bomb. So, when, when, and, uh, and there's Ophelia. And so once I saw that, um, I, I don't know. And I also just like the play on words, Tarot del Toro. So, um, like the art, you know, the, the wood carved look. So, anyway, here goes. Oh, let's see. We've got designed and carved. Oh, so this is like a real wood carving, I suppose. Like these are really printed off of wood carvings. Got raven there. And I am a little rusty. At <laughs> Inspired and supervised by Guillermo del Toro. That's pretty cool. Okay, and that's the device uh, from Kronos. I'm a little rusty. I haven't seen his movies in quite a while. Um, so, okay. So we've got um, that mandrake root from Pan's Labyrinth that was under her mother's bed. Uh, Tarot deck and guidebook inspired by the world of Guillermo del Toro. Written and illustrated by Tomai uh, Hijo. Evil? Yeah, evil. <laughs> I'm I'm half Mexican, but I barely know any Spanish. <laughs> so, um, yes, there's that. Um, okay, we've got introduction. Summer of 2018, okay, is that when that was first printed? Okay, I like that illustration there. Oh, heh, I like that already, the um, Ace of Swords, but. All right, so the introduction, the Major Arcana. Huh. There's a Demon for the Fool, all right. Yeah, okay, well, so I like the guidebook. It actually prints like a good sized color printing. I like the parchment paper. Oh my god, there's even stuff from Pacific Rim in this. Okay, all right, I'm getting ahead of myself. Um, <laughs> too much time on the guidebook, so. All right, ooh, I like the box. I, like, I always like when they put the little pull-up rib in there. That's nice, and that's a really nice inlay. It's not um, a little buffer there. I like the printing on it. You got the hand, the tree, the, the skull, the leaf, okay. Oh, I do like that. Definitely will keep this box for it. Um, yeah, it's nicer than the usual cardboard insert that's just like a solid color. And, uh, and it's usually for a much bigger book. I like the size of this deck box. I like the more compact deck boxes. I really don't care for the oversized ones so much. Um, sometimes I just get rid of them altogether. But, all right, so we have Ace of Discs. So it looks like we have discs instead of coins or pentacles. Um, 
Looks like that's from like the Hellboy movies. I'm gonna probably be really bad at this. Like I said, I haven't watched the, his movies in a long time. I just know I like them. <laughs> Let's see, we got Ace of Pentacles or <laughs> discs. Okay, they're like gears. Oh, that's cool. Oh, this is so it's kind of like um a Marseille deck. Oh, that's nice. I because I've been looking for a different kind of Marseille deck since I got um that cheapy one from Half Price Books. I've been looking for something like this. It's kind of neutral for the miners, um, but I, I like this. It still has a good illustration for like the ace, you know, um, like that little goblin there. Uh, oh, I love the backs. Okay, that was also in the guidebook, but oh, I like the backs. Okay, yeah, I think that's that Kronos device. That was one of my favorites. Um, I really did enjoy that movie. So there's that. Okay, so we've got the two. So I kind of like that. It's like a Marseille deck. That's really cool. Like I said, I was wanting a Marseille deck that was a little more aesthetically pleasing. I'll say that. Um, okay, I've got four. Um, yeah, because that other one that I got... Um, you know, it wouldn't be so bad if the colors were just printed more carefully, more precisely. Um, okay, there's the five, six, seven. Okay, I like how they make it kind of easy to, I like how they laid it out so that's easy to count. But interesting new patterns, so not just the, I like that bias there on the bias. That's kind of neat. I mean, 10, it's, <laughs> it's just loaded on there. That's pretty cool. All right. Oh, valet of discs is what they're calling this, as opposed to um, guessing page instead of page or um, let's see, princess, uh, valet of discs. Okay. Um, yeah, I'm gonna be really bad about picking out which movies some of these are from. Uh, Knight of discs. Okay, that's cool. Oh, wow, he's like smoking. That's interesting, the smoke elements in there. A little red. <laughs> like queen of discs. Okay, I've got insect with her nest. I like the eggs around her. She's holding onto the disc. She's got her nest. I'm going to go back to this guy here. So his steed. <laughs> he's holding onto a disc there. All right. She's got her eggs. So there's that abundance for the queen of pentacles kind of energy. And king of discs. Um, okay, so you can really only just tell it's a disc on his chest, uh, but it has so much fire energy and smoke too. So um, I like the insect on his shield. That's pretty cool. It's kind of like a heart and feathery wings and a skull. There's so much going on there. Oh, I really do like the detail. King of discs. But yeah, it's like, without that, I would almost assume this was like king of wands or some f fire energy there, or even air for the smoke. But I would assume this is like a, has a lot of fire energy for being pentacles, coins, discs, um, uh, earth energy. All right, Ace of Blades. Okay, so it looks like we're doing blades instead of swords. Again, a lot of just fire energy all over this deck. Okay, I'm, I don't mind that. Um, all right, that's pretty cool. All right, two of blades, three. I like, oh, nice for the smaller ones to make room, he uses knives. Okay, and that reminds me of the knife from uh, Pan's Labyrinth that she used to uh, cut open the fascist general's mouth. That was one of my favorite scenes. <laughs> um, yeah, okay. And as it gets, uh, that's why I say blades instead of swords, because they have to get some, a little smaller, a little more compact for the higher numbers. Clever. Oh, that's very clever. That's very clever. I like that. I like imaginative designs there. That's pretty. I like with the larger sword in the middle. And there's the 10. Okay. Valet of Blades. Nice. <laughs> Merthidis from that. Okay. Yeah, that's she's perfect for that. And we got a lot of like smoke and clouds behind her, so kind of like air energy. Although 
I know why they chose it for blades because of the scene I mentioned, but this has such an earth energy to it. I would I would have also made her like the valet of um, discs, but um, so it's a very nice grounded earth energy, you know, food, um, you know, garden wall behind her. But you know, I know why they made blades. It's still clever. I don't object to it. I just uh, I just pick up a lot of earth energy in that card. It's it's interesting how the elements are kind of mixed intermingled it kind of reminds us how things aren't so stark or i think this is that bad guy from uh, the hellboy movie no not the bad guy the good guy um oh my gosh the clout the guy that's vapor in a suit <laughs> i haven't seen him in so long uh i, I should have watched the movies <laughs> should have watched all half dozen movies <laughs> Or more before doing this unboxing I guess but that's cool the horse his knight uh, or his steed has the mask as well <laughs> again a lot of red but we see the little vapor trails and um, blades uh, swords is air energy and this dude is just vapor so oh that's very clever that is the guy in the suit right that's not the clockwork Nazi guy because he's got that iron cross oh Maybe I'm thinking of the clockwork Nazi guy. Anyway. <laughs> All right, won't take too long with this. Okay, Queen of Blades. Well, that makes sense. <laughs> oh, she's lost her head. Wow, that's cool. That's interesting. That's a good visual. Interesting way to interpret that suit. Um, hmm. <laughs> Crown is on the ground. Okay, interesting. King of Blades. Okay, wow, so like... Wow, death, basically. He's got the scythe, skeletal figure. Wow, grotesque, really. We have crow here. A crow here, that's interesting because um, in that Lightseer's tarot deck I have, and for their swords, blades, um, they call it swords, but they portray instead of any kind of blade or sword, except for a couple, they use crows or ravens instead. So that's interesting to kind of see that echoed here. Um, oh, I like we got the rebirth coming from the skull. Um, again, we got the air energy there and that um, root that seems to be burning incense around his belt. Anyway, okay. Yeah, I'm sorry. I'm just getting acquainted with this deck as I'm flipping through it. Ace of Goblets. That's pretty cool. All right. Cups energy. <laughs> Some pretty dark cups energy. This might be like my darkest deck. I'm gonna say um you got a lot of vapor uh all right <laughs> all the cups are gonna be like skull chalices cool oh that's interesting with the ivy huh all right three of cups okay and then they make them a little less ornate but you can tell they're all unique you know this one's got it's either a crack or i think what's actually probably supposed to be dripping Oh, okay, and like, whatever is, so, oh, that's interesting. So these cups are full, and they are kind of like steaming, like they're either full of hot beverage, um, or since this is four of cups, and that kind of means boredom or stagnancy, maybe it's like it's been sitting out for too long and it's evaporating. Okay, just, just spitballing. Yeah, <laughs> showing you my thought process there. Okay. All right, there's six. Okay, I like, I do like when they um, incorporate the larger element uh, in some of these higher ones. I know I can see how they can't do it for space reasons all the time, but still, it's pretty cool when they can do that. All right, there's the 10. All right, goblets. Whoa, wait. Goblets. Okay, you know what? Now I'm actually confused. Wait, oh. No, nope, never mind. Never mind. I'm not on the next suit, am I? No, I'm on the same suit. <laughs> it's just that I forgot. They, I was saying chalices and cups. So goblets, I, I thought I was on the next suit. And so I'm like, wait, is there no like wands counterpart? Okay, never mind. <laughs> uh, goblets, that's right. They're saying goblets instead of cups or chalices, which are the other, or vessels. Um, is in one of my other decks, they say vessels. All right, so we got the valet of goblets. Wow, he is 
so thirsty. Look at all those tongs. <laughs> wow, we got a fallen or dead person's hand there. Um, scroll case. And, okay. Oh, yeah. Oh, is he? Oh, is he the one of the vampire monsters from Blade? I for did he do Blade also? Okay, is that it? All right, I can't wait till you see the majors. I'm I'm still in the minor arcana. Um, they put the minors first. Um, if you're going from faces. Oh. All right, Knight of Goblets. Also, when I first saw this guy. I thought for ballet, I thought I said ballet of goblins because I mean, look how grotesque he is. So I thought it was ballet of goblins. There's a lot of death for um, in this deck in general, but um, you know, for the cups equivalent to cup suit. Okay, they're drinking. That's cool. Oh, Russia. All right. Man, I gotta watch his movies again. Oh, and I've never seen the Pacific Rim movies. I've never seen those. And I haven't seen uh, Shape of Water. So I'm, I'm really behind. Um, guessing this is probably has to do with the Pacific Rim. Statue of Liberty. The Fallen City. I'm guessing that's what that's from. Okay. Yep. Oh, he's thirsty. <laughs> All right, Wands. All right, so Wands are going to have... I like how he went back to the, the very classic design for the aces, you know, like um, most of them having like a divine hand holding it up. Was it like that for the chow or goblets? <laughs> um, let me go back to the goblets one. I already forgot. Some blades. Okay, yeah. Oh, and this one, it's a, one hand passing it to another. So not so much like a divine hand. More like just a pass. What? Probably not the same person. Probably one passing to the other. So I'm guessing the cups are kind of reminiscent from like Blade, the vampires and Blade. Um, I'm also starting to remember that Simpsons, Guillermo del Toro uh, Simpsons opening from a few years back. That was fun. And yeah, like I said, I couldn't quite get all the references from that one. Um, but most of them. All right, so we've got Ace of Wands. All right, so he's sticking with Mons. Seems like they call everything else something else. I'm almost surprised they didn't call it like batons or bludgeons or fire sticks. Or I'm surprised they didn't stick with fire, but oh, that's, that's nice. More like little like little switches. I'll say, so these are sort of like the same leaves from, okay, so we got two different leaf types. All right, and these ones are in the cups suit. So they kind of working back to each other. Well, that's pretty, just different shapes and sizes. Yeah, it's a good thing it puts the numbers in the corners because otherwise it would be a pain to kind of count these because they're so bendy, um, which I love, I love, I love that. But it's funny that for wands, they're, they're really just rough twigs or branches. Um, I usually think wands, um, I know sometimes they're, they're portrayed as sticks with leaves, but they have some of the main, like, bran branches broken off, and there might be just a couple little twigs sprouting on it, but, uh, and they're usually much more substantial. These are more like, almost like little switches, you know? That's an interesting take on that. Ten, okay. I would not be able to count those by the layout. All right, the Valley of Wands. All right, oh, I've got like a serrated saber there. Wands are very subtle, very earthy feeling. Like you can't, you, they're not as uh, prominent as they are usually in other, like, like this blade, this jawbone scythe is, you know, the blade component there is more prominent than like the actual wand. Um, same here, the Knight of Wands. Oh, his steed. Oh, it's like the fairies from Pan's Labyrinth and on the mantis for a steed, I suppose. Um, all right. And she's more, huh, a little lighter, a little brighter. Fairy energy, a lot of earth energy in these, you know? Like, this is the kind of energy I would, um, I would have put, <laughs> or I would have anticipated in, like, the, um, what do they call it, discs suit the pentacles equivalent um but i see why they did that because it's discs material 
he's they're taking to mean like a factory industrial uh, kind of energy to it rather than like an earth connected earth energy the wands are actually very earthy it has such a strange crossover of the elements um again which i'm not criticizing i'm just kind of observing that and uh it's gonna be interesting working with this deck i really like him so far this wand suit is my favorite suit it's pretty <laughs> all right we have the fool okay which is like a demon a devil that is that supposed to be is that supposed to be like a young hell boy um it doesn't have i mean i know like Hellboy came like in the comics he came like really young so i don't think that's supposed to be Hellboy. but i like how he's got the, the classic elements he's got a bindle staff uh that's why he's also carrying like a regular wand um and he's got instead of the puppy he's got that mantis that's funny okay yeah and this this is so clever the magician that's guillermo and he's got the chronos device and then let's see he's got the mandrake root he's got like a razor blade he's got ink and quill um so usually in a magician card you'll see the different um you know you'll see either like you know the actual items you'll see like whatever they call staffs and uh or staffs uh wands or cups and swords and um pentacles or coins um so in this one though you see more just like okay there's you could say the mandrake rate is the earth element uh there's a blade there oh there's some discs and uh not so much a cup but you know or a goblet but there's a jar there with a bug on it and then there's like a uh, ink well um I love that he's got the. I love that's Guillermo del Toro is a magician. That's that's very clever, with the um Kronos device in his hand. That's pretty cool. A high priestess. Okay, I'm guessing she was from the Hellboy movie. Um, she's got a blade there. Yeah, Hellboy movie because there's Abe, right? She's got like an egg behind her. Okay, that's cool. I like that they put the number up top there. Empress, okay, she's got a baby. All right, she's got some angelic energy. Um, can't place what movie she's from off the top of my head. Emperor, all right. Um, are they supposed to be from Pan's Labyrinth, like Ophelia's, you know, divine family? It's got a key there. Hmm. Sort of tentacle smoke coming out of his throat but they were like on elevated golden thrones um i don't remember them being so earthy really need to remove review review these movies the hierophant okay well that is some staff energy let's see we got moon we got fire huh that is a very oppressive variation of the hierophant the lovers yeah <laughs> the shape of water that's sweet underwater okay so there's very much the it looks like they're both underwater because her robes are flowing and he's obviously in a floaty position so water being like the emotional energy there okay the chariot i'm pretty sure that's a dude from hellboy right the moon <laughs> okay let's see justice Got a raven there. Two skulls. Okay. Like a wilting bouquet. Oh, some sort of wrong bride Mrs. Haversham kind of energy there. Huh. That is interesting for justice. Oh, I would not have picked this guy for the hermit. Oh. The pale man. I'm, the herm I'm a Virgo. The hermit's my card. I like the hermit. Aw, uh, he should not, <laughs> not really complaining, but I feel like he could have been used otherwise. Um, I'll think of it later where he, I feel like he would have been most appropriate. I'm not upset by it, but I'm just like, oh, I feel like, you know, the hermit's supposed to be an introspective 
thoughtful energy and he's supposed to be like an allegory for whiteness and imperial imperialism so i can see why they did it aesthetically though wheel of fortune so cheerful <laughs> river was that like a river of blood are they getting ground up in it uh, this is, like i said this is my darkest deck Oh, I kind of love this guy from the Hellboy movie. I like, uh, okay, I like, okay, strength. I, I can see, I, I can see it's definitely the more brute force version of strength, but he gets, like, crushed in the machine, so he's not that bright. Um, oh, <laughs> that's from the devil's backbone, the, ha the hanged, not the hanged man, because... Oh, you can see the spine of it. Oh, man, I'm getting, like, chills just looking at this. Not grossed out. Just, like, just this feeling of such, like, a dark energy to it. Like I said, I love the aesthetics and everything, but... Oof. <laughs> this isn't going to be one of my go-to decks, but this will be fun to play with. Okay, they didn't even label it death. It's just like, come on. But, you know, I'm almost surprised because so many other things could be labeled as death. There's so many other deathly characters, even with scythes, so it's kind of like, come on. Doesn't necessarily speak for itself. Luckily, those other ones are labeled, so it's like process of elimination. And it has um, that reprise from that um, Marseille deck. Um, that's right, because the, the um, miners are formulated like a Marseille deck. So that death card has, you know, dismembered you know, body parts, arm, hands and feet and everything. I like that there's beheaded royalty there showing that like, you know, things shall pass. Oh, okay, the volcano is an interesting touch in the background. That death is blind. That's an interesting touch. Like, death has no bias, really. Oh, but the wings can see. So he just can see where to go. Sees where he's like needed and calls, but he's not, he's not seeing with his mind and making judgments. He's seeing with his wings that propel him guide him tell him where he needs to go okay so that was okay that came through kind of powerfully temperance okay i can't place where that what movie that one would be from offhand oh huh they're he didn't do it for the other ones but that's what i noticed in the other marseille deck is that Instead of going IX for nine, they went X, I, 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 like four X, four I's for, uh, for a nine there. Um, oh, wait, no, no, this is, but 14. Okay. No, this is 14, not nine, but a 14. So, but they put four I's instead of IX. Oh, did they do that with the other ones? Oh, now I got to see. X, I, 11, 10. Oh, yeah, they did that here with the four eyes, and so they must have done that for the emperor as well. Yep, for the emperor, too, that four eye thing. Okay. Just the thing. Okay, sorry, that's just the thing that <laughs> I notice, and I don't even want to say it bothers me anymore. What, what am I going to get upset? Just never use this deck. No, I've got other decks for that. Hey, help! Hellboy's the devil. Oh, oh, but he, he's got one of his horns. Oh, so he's coming into that power. Oh, so he's coming into his demonic power. So he's the devil because of his ego. Ah, okay, I like that. Like, okay, so he's like, has the half like humanoid foot. Uh, he's cut one of his horns, but the other horn's grown and he's, um, so he's got the, the red right hand and he's got his sword coming in because he's, he's not trying to maintain his like, humanoid visage he's kind of coming into his powerful demon royalty power like ego does for the devil um kind of being seduced by power okay that's cool all right tower I'm trying to think of what movie this would be from off but again i'm so rusty it's not the orphanage is it is the onion thing from the orphanage? I'm actually kind of surprised they didn't use her for the fool. I kind of thought they would have used her. Um, but it works for the star, too. Oh, she's... So the two cups, uh, the two um, 
pictures there, just like on the ground. She's just interacting with the fairies. Huh. That's interesting. I do like how they did the stars. They're kind of like um, Markabas almost. Not quite, no. No, different. Never mind. <laughs> uh, we've got the moon. Okay, oh, we've got the toad from the tree in Pan's Labyrinth. That's interesting. All right. The two dogs. Oh, we've even got those little um, odd multicolored teardrops in the like uh, that was background filler. So yeah, he drew a lot of inspiration from the Marseille, like classic Marseille kind of deck. Interesting. The sun. Huh. Okay. And if you hear any weird moving sounds, that's my snakes. They're getting hungry. You gotta feed them. Okay. Judgment. That, that kind of makes sense. That's the bomb from the devil's backbone. Okay, a lot of fire energy there. All right. And the world. Um, some insect kind of energy there. <laughs> uh, oh, yeah, we got like, so we've got a larva and pupil, pupa. Uh, and... Um, and just about to emerge from the pupa stage. Okay. Huh. <laughs> yeah. And oh, just, just just a place card. Okay. Oh man. Oh, that was like a strange journey, huh? That was interesting. Like I said, um, I'll play with this a bit. <laughs> I don't know if this is gonna be my go-to deck. I don't know if it tells you. Okay. Um necessarily which movies these characters are from um it does look like it oh wait um supreme vampire from the strain okay i don't even know that movie uh high priestess from hellboy 2 okay yeah all right so it does mention what movies they're from there's Goya del Toro himself all right the fool is from that is supposed to be the fawn from Pan's Labyrinth. Oh. Oh, why did he make him so strange? Why did he make him red and uh and his horns curve differently? Oh, that really threw me off. Hmm. Alright, well yeah, I hope he okay, and this guy is from Hellboy 2. Okay, yeah. Um oh no, I was saying that that was from Pan's Labyrinth. That's from Hellboy 2. And I'm guessing this is, oh, Ophelia's mother from Pan's Labyrinth. Oh, and the baby's, the, her brother. Okay. Surprised we didn't see, uh, maybe the, all right, well, this tells uh, at least what movies they are. So I'll have fun reviewing that. Crimson Peak. Oh, I did see that. Oh, I saw that like once ages ago. Um, I've seen all these movies ages ago. So anyways, it'll be fun. Now I feel kind of inspired to rewatch the movies. Um, it is a lovely deck. I like, I, I do like the aesthetics, although I tend not to use very dark energy decks. Um, they, the, which, but they're, you know, good. They're very worldly. Um, very interesting, the kind of blending of elements in these that, you know, um, so like I said, there's a lot of fire energy in this disc suit and, uh, and let's see, felt like there was like a lot of earth energy in the wands. So yeah, um, yeah, not a criticism, not saying I, I hate it or even dislike it, just an observation that I find very interesting and like to see how that'll work and reading that so there it is that's the um tarot del toro that's um well i can't say it's gonna be the last gimmicky deck i, or I get but um i don't regret it <laughs> i got a nice cool uh bonus card i guess i'll use that as a bookmark pretty cool and it'll be fun to read through the book and uh learn other you know ways to read it um, okay, a lot of this is from The Strain. Okay, I've not seen The Strain. I don't even think I've heard of The Strain. I was thinking, is that from Blade? Anyway, did he do Blade? See, I don't remember. Anyway, thank you so much for watching. I hope uh, 
I hope you found this entertaining at the very least. And uh, if you want to get yourself one, I don't see why not. Now you have a better idea of what you're getting. Or be like me, just be surprised. <laughs> Anyways, I'm Rachel, Radical Soul Untangled. Thank you so much for watching. Take care.